Don't ask me, baby. Um, are you watching any current day wrestling, whether it's WWE, Impact Wrestling, AEW? Are you keeping up with the current product, or is it something you kind of don't? I can't shake. Take I can't time. shake my head no anymore. No, nope. And I have a. And can I tell you my theory as to why I don't watch? This is the word to go, yo. go. Well, hello, hello, hello. Hello, ladies. So happy to see you here, right here on God TV, on a Wednesday. Good to as be we seen. are every Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. I'm so happy to see you. Uh, before we get started, obviously, we have an incredible episode today. So excited for our guest. But we need you to do a few things for us, you know, so that way we keep popping to the top of your feed, because we like that. We like being at the tippity top cream of the crop they the say top. Mm -hmm. yes so give us a thumbs up like this video you know maybe type in the comment section you know where where you're watching from because we have a global audience here oh tippity type yeah uh subscribe <laughs> subscribe today what's this a tippity i don't even want to show my nails right now because they're so ratchet i just I pulled them all doing, yeah. like, I <laughs> subscribe today because we're awesome and last but not least ladies Hit that bell, Lisa. <laughs> Rest Lisa. in peace. Rest or, in peace. Rip, rip oh, bell. Oh, I know. Rip bell. Lisa's bell has gone babiski. That's what I get for cleaning. <laughs> Hear you. Organizing, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Yeah. Insert that Undertaker dong right now. That may he may that bell rest in peace. It's It'll never bell. dong again. Yeah. It's rest in ding peace. has donged. Bell. Has dong. That's sad. Listen, uh, we came to the place for all the dings and dongs. That's not right. We're going to mosey past. Uh, <laughs> here I am. SoCal Val here to, to, to bring you back to normalcy. We are so thrilled that you're here on a Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Eastern if you're watching live. But if you're not, don't forget that we are here live every Wednesday mm -hmm. at 5 p.m. Eastern. That's 10 p.m. for those of us, myself included, in the UK. And we're always here in the live chat. Hello, live chatters. We've got our, you know, all of our regulars and irregulars are here. We've got Kay, and <laughs> we've got Mickey D, we've got Tony, we've got Thorsten, we've got, you know, all of our, all of our chaps and gals that are always here supporting us. T-Bone, so many great people, but- T-Bizzle. There's so yes. many, there's, honestly, we have a great loyal following, but we want to give you a special thank you to our YouTube followers that are on our membership. And yes. I will tell you- our YouTube members are you. getting a treat this week because we want to raise our glasses to Mickey James, our very own, in celebration and congratulations for your Cauliflower Alley Club Women's Wrestling Award. Cheers to that. All the sneak peeks for this award can be found. By the way, thank you to Leonard for uh, you know giving us some amazing footage. It can be found on YouTube memberships. But Mickey, congratulations. We love you. Well deserved. Yes. Oh, well thank deserved. you so much. I was incredibly honored. And I'm so honored. I was I was like overwhelmed by the outpouring of love. And it was very, it was my first time ever going to the Cauliflower Alley Club. At least I know you've gone before, but it's just like, it was, I didn't know what to expect, but yeah. it was seriously the greatest weekend. And it was, oh. it was so wonderful. And it was so wonderful to get and talk with a lot of people and a lot of legends and, you know, different people that I've looked up to for so long yeah. and just what they do for the wrestling community and how they give back, especially to the veterans and they help yeah. a lot of veterans out um, is amazing. And we need more, we need more uh, love for people exactly. in the business, especially, you know, to our veterans. So, yes, and it's exciting. Is that some, they, they help the vets out that, you know, have a lot of medical issues and that can't mm -hmm. afford it. And they, they help, um, you know, raise money for them. So that's a good cause, you know, it's, you know, yeah, thank totally. you so much, Cauliflower Alley, seriously. Yeah. By um, the way, ladies, may I interject quickly? So we are yeah. not say that this has to be it, but we are looking for our next Dresselmania um, donation person, a donation charity. It could be Cauliflower Alley. That's a good idea. Let's keep that in mind. But also, if you guys have any ideas about, What's it's not that? too early to be thinking about Dresselmania 2024, put your comments in and put your, whether you're in the live chat or not, let us know who you'd like to see us donate to next year. Cauliflower Alley could yes. be a great charity. Yeah. 
actually drop it in the comment section because you know right. the live chat can kind of go away so we see yeah. it and we see it like in the moment but if you put it in the comment section of some that would be great like some cool recommendations of some you know we've yeah. changed our charity every single year yeah. and yeah. i do yeah. love the idea of, of the cac though because we yeah. have to get back to let's the discuss amongst ourselves tony what uh -huh. do you think he's, he's listening absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely that's a great idea great idea and to top the night off yeah, we got a really hotty toddy here. Um, not a hotty toddy, sorry, but a hot. Oh, he's a hot toddy. Man. Yeah, <laughs> but he's a handsome man, very handsome man. Um, skin just to die for. He must be using drunk elephant. I'll, I'll be honest with you, but uh, we've, been, we've known him since the beginning of his career. He's awesome. He has his own YouTube podcast. Uh, let's introduce Maven Huffman. Maven, my Hello. gosh. Hey. Hello. Oh, look at this. Pros pro. He already knows. Hello. Oh, uh, what do I Oh wait. What, to go to go to go wait. Yeah, nope, you gotta not... unlock you gotta unlock you're your phone. Too lovely first. for uh, vertical. Yeah. You got so give her a little swipe ski. Unlock that yeah. screen. How's that? Is that are we beautiful? Going on beautiful. We go. Yay! Uh, hi ladies, how are you? Oh, Great. It's, it, it's gotten worse. It's gotten worse. We had to <laughs> We recently had to move offices and we uh, we got a smaller location because we got an office during COVID because they were trying to just fill and we got this like amazing, you know, office overlooking um, the World Trade Center and it was half uh -huh. price. Well, the new price kicked back in and it's 30, it's like 30 grand a month. Oh so my like, gosh. Yeah. So, but crazy enough, like we're now on ex an exchange, which is, to me, would be more expensive. I don't know. I, New York. I, oh, can I cuss on here? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Come I, on. I I hate New York. I hate it with a passion. Do you? Yes. Hate it. Hate it. I think it's Every one of those day. places, right? Like you like in small doses. Like I love LA. I lived there. I would never live there again. It's fun to go in small doses, but I'm like, I could never handle living there ever again. Yeah. Same. To I totally same agree. with New York. I can totally I can visit agree. New York, but I don't sleep there because the noise. I'm like I'm I want oh. my crickets. Where are the damn crickets? I don't hear yeah. I hear yeah. sirens. Yeah. There's gonna be yeah. a garbage truck, a siren, a police car, something at all. Yeah, times. a right. robbery, yeah. maybe a shooting or two. Yeah, <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like that, that doesn't Absolutely. lull you to sleep, Mickey. Come on, come on. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Stabby stab. <laughs> can I just say, Maven, real quick? Your voice makes me feel at home with your Virginia accent. I love it. So I much. love your accent. It's you can so take great. a boy oh. out to country, but you can't take a country out to boy. You can't. You can't do it. It's Absolutely. funny because as soon as I meet someone here, they admit it immediately. Think I'm like Dominican or whatever, or and I'm from. They think I'm from the Bronx or Brooklyn. So the minute right. I talk, they're just like, they can't believe this is the accent that comes out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, I mean, uh, me living in, uh, near London, like I, I'm I, any sort of even remotely an American accent, I'm like a shark in the water. I'm like, what Americans? I just get so excited. But to hear a yeah. southern accent, I just go, oh my god! I met a woman recently at a comic con, and she was like, she was saying yes, ma'am, and stuff, and I was like, I'm gonna cry. Uh -huh. I need a moment. I just that's just what I grew up with. My you know, grew up in Texas and North Carolina and stuff, and I'm like, I just love that sort of like. Southern yeah. hospitality, it's, just, it's it's more polite, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, we grew up saying, like, yeah. if someone taught us in school, if her name was Lynn or Abigail, be Miss Abigail or Miss Lynn, yeah. you know, that yeah. kind of Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. To this day, yeah. whenever, I hold a, whenever I hold a door for somebody, they look at me like I got three heads. And I'm yeah, just like, thinking, yeah. this is just the, it's just the way I was raised. Like, like yeah. it's just, that, like, that was instilled into me from an early age. And it costs yes. nothing. And it that's the thing. Nothing. It costs nothing. It costs nothing to be nice. And isn't it so funny how? And this isn't. I don't even know that this because I feel still feel like this happens in the South though. There's still like that Southern hospitality. Um, but when you do show like common courtesy or manners or something, it's almost like you're the problem. Like, what's wrong Absolutely. with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, what do you want? And, what do you want? And, what do you want? Yeah, and it's like you're you're interrupting my day, or I can hold my own. You know? Right. Like, well, I I whatever. know you can. I know you. Yeah. I see yeah. your hands. <laughs> I have a video coming up, and actually, it's talking about like. And here's an example: it's talking about steroids in the business. Okay. The whole video through the whole video, I talk about my use of steroids, and I make it very clear a disclaimer. 
I'm not out in anybody. I'm giving my example, how, what I build, you know, my, my history with it, you know, right. and like, that's, and I'm sure there's people in there. I don't read the comments. That's another thing. He'll send that's me comments healthy. to reply to. Nah, because you're, you can't please everybody. You know what? You know what? But we got to do our question. How we start the show off is, uh, oh. what you drinking and what you wearing. Yeah. You look lovely tonight, doll. Uh, what are you wearing? Jacked and stacked, was, bro. I, I'm drinking stacked. a little bit of, I'm drinking some Brugal, 1888, some, some Fancy. spiced rum. And I was hoping to wear, because I usually come in within a suit, but I'm, 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 um, I'm, today it was too hot. It was like 95 degrees. Yeah. Um, so I'm a, actually a company that I found called Penguin not too long ago. And I just, I, it's just different. Nice. Yeah. Not too expensive. A nice polo, but, a little breathable. Yeah, my, listen, listen, nice Maven, layout. Maven, our, our new friend, I got to tell you, it looks like a Smedium because your, your muscles are poking through and yeah. there are ladies that watch the show. So you're welcome. I'll cheers to that. <laughs> you know what? You know what? These, these yeah. ladies would be extremely disappointed. Just like I talked about in, my, uh, in the, in the steroid video. Ah. Cause I, I get, I get asked all the time. They're like, do you still have that body you did when you were wrestling? And I'll hold up like an eight by 10 and I'll be like, I took that picture two weeks ago. And that's, it's from, it, it, I don't, it's from 2004. If we can just, like, as I do my shot, if we can just delve in for just for a second, that's got to be, because again, we're saying you're, you're so refreshing on YouTube, but there are certain topics you have to cover as far as not everything, sunshine and rainbows. There might be something, you know, I always say to the ladies, like, I'm 37 now. I started when I was like 16 and I have to have courage and conviction of what I say. And if it's a tweet that I say something I want to say, I have to be very, you know, serious. Sometimes it's not all sunshine and rainbows for that specific YouTube video that you did about steroids. Yep. How does that make you feel as far as delving into topics that are not so hunky dory and fine? Was that difficult for you to sort of discuss that portion of the business? I know you're talking about yourself, it's which is great. Not putting anyone else on blast you're just talking about yourself but that's got to be hard to kind of put yourself out there right well i didn't shed any i i didn't shed any light or i didn't break any news that wasn't already attainable yeah, um right. basically all i did during this video was explain how i broke because i had never taken a steroid before wrestling i'd always right. wanted to but i never had a reason to and once i got into the business then hey there's my you know there's my reason um, so I explained, you know, my walk up to that, how, you know, that became a reality, how I then, if I wanted to do it, I wanted to do it safely. So then how I found a doctor, um, you know, got my blood work done just so I could try to be as, you know, as proactive with the safe aspect of it as, as humanly possible. But mm -hmm. I make it very, very clear. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not going to out, I'm not Jose they can say though with baseball saying so-and-so did it's this and so-and-so did that. I just give my example, but here's what's great about this video where when I did the money video, we spent $400 on just getting fake money, just 400 bucks on that, just for the having a prop. Well, I know a, 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 a movie company here and they have every type of prop. So I went out and I got steroid props. Wait, people are going to, people will flip out when they just see the props that I have in this video alone. Oh my God. Because it's, yeah, it's. But again, like my guy, he's like, this is the small thing that yeah. will make will make your videos just be of that much more different. That's yeah. wild. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. That is Man. amazing. So what do you have? Like little vials and needles? I had vials. I had a box of needles, a box uh -huh. of pins. I had like a growth hormone entire pack kit. I had like little like like the the boxes that the vials would come in. I had oral stuff, and like this would be this is the one video that I can't wait to read the comments on. Right, because, oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. like like in the in the money video, I'm literally standing there holding with eight hundred thousand dollars in you know hard currency, and people idiots. They're like, you have that much money lying around? Like, are you that? stupid no like it's not. so <laughs> so i can't wait i can't wait to see what the comments are in this but hey if people are talking about that then that means it's going to be sent to other people we dropped the first video it had like 570 views and i was like i thought that was something 
And I text yeah. my guy and I'm like, I'm like, this is great. And he said, he texted like, me back. He said, he's like, I'll tell you when we wake YouTube up. And I, I was like, I was like, I don't even know what that means. And then the next morning, it was like at 120,000 and my mind was just blind. No wow. one's more so, surprised than I am. I promise you're you. That. So you're over. You you're know, yeah. how, how does it feel to be over? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks a, for the house. It's a, Thanks for the it's house. A 20, <laughs> it took 23 years. <laughs> I, so if I can, if I can mark out for a second, because honestly, I feel like a lot of these uh, God TV episodes kind of go that you know Lisa and Mickey are obviously superstars. I've done a little bit in wrestling; that's all cool. But I, I I have my mark out moments, and you, Maven, listen. I was a huge, huge Tough Enough fan. That that was that was my era. Was Tough Enough? That was like the you know late '90s, early 2000s. I met you. I, I it was somewhere. I want to say North Carolina or somewhere. I met you, and I was like, oh my god. Please let him be nice. And you were not just nice. You were one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life in wrestling. To this wow. day, Thank I'm talking you. from 16 years old and now 37 years old. One of the nicest, most polite people ever. But can I ask you now, um, are you watching any current day wrestling, whether it's WWE, Impact Wrestling, AEW? Are you keeping up with the current product or is it something you kind of don't take time I for? Can't shake, I can't shake my head no anymore. No. Nope. And I have a... And can I tell you my theory as to why I don't watch? Sure. Uh, res wrestling to me is the love of my life. And I don't I don't want to watch the love of my life break up with me and then move on and then be better off without me on a weekly <laughs> basis. Like, I don't want her parading herself with her new man and you know, making out with him and just rubbing it in my face on a weekly basis so that theory nice. is amazing oh my god yeah. that's so no. funny it's so pure and it's it too it's too tough and like i'm 46 now and like there's still a part in here that says man i could i can fucking do that but i know i can't so it's like what you're, even, what you're saying is wrestling's a fickle slut and i agree yeah. <laughs> that, that, that hey that bitch <laughs> that bitch. That bitch. That bitch. And I've, I've also, I'm just, I've come to, it took a while. I'm not the lie. It took a, a long time. And you talk about not seeing me. I was bitter with the business for a long time. Very bitter. Yeah. And it took, it took a while to just be just okay with, with, because I know I could have done more in the right. business. I like, yeah. you know, and that's, and that's tough to come to grips with. But yeah. now I'm 46 now. I did what I did. Like it, don't like it, doesn't matter to me. I'm, I, 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 it doesn't affect my life. You're a grown ass man. You're yeah, a grown ass be, maven. Oh, yeah, be, ha be, be happy with, with what I did have an opportunity to do. And I'm there. And I finally got to that point. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah. Maybe, I'm sure you felt the same way that it's sort of one of those things where, you know, it, it, it's it's a part of your life, of course, but you also kind of yeah. go, it, it's yeah. got to be hard whether you're in it, Mickey or Lisa, we're also just kind of watching things. Or I'm, I'm in it a bit. You are too. But it's hard to kind of go, it's hard to not get jaded, isn't it? To kind of go, yeah. oh, I've it seen is. this before. It's the same kind of thing. It's now the new kid that's going to grow up, you know. Uh, I remember cool. feeling that same way, even when I left WWE this last time, but the first time, especially because it was so painful it was very yeah. painful. And it was like every yeah. time you would try to watch the show, it was like throwing salt in the wound, you know, Absolutely. and it's like it's just, you know, what whatever your circumstances were or how you felt about that situation, you always feel like you can go out there and still go and yeah. and, you know, kick ass. And I can put money on it, Maven, that if you wanted to get back in the ring again and you wanted to tear it up, you'd probably really F it up like it'd be awesome Absolutely. and the people would oh. love it. But well, I totally you. get it that it's like too painful. Like it was, I still have a hard time. I watched recently, I watched Payback. Trish and yeah. Becky's match was probably the only match I actually watched from the pay-per-view because again, I, it's still pain. It's still painful for me a little bit where to, to sit back and watch the whole thing, even though I love everyone and I want everyone to succeed. And there's a lot of wrestling right now to keep up with. And you can't yeah. just, oh my God, yeah. too much. It, yeah. you can't, you yeah. can't consume it all. You can't consume no. it all. For Not me, if you want to have yeah. a life. Exactly. Yeah. I had two more, I still had two more years on my contract and I was finding myself, Man, I don't want to be bitter. I've been in this business for so long and I've got to see the world and I had great matches. I went to the office and asked, um, I have two years left on my contract. Can I ask for my release? I, I don't want to leave hating it because I was, yeah. you know, putting other girls over and I was used as kind of enhancement talent, uh, 
matches and stuff like that. And I was like, and then coming out to the fans and them shitting on me going, how did you lose that match? And I'm like, oh man, they're not believing the magic. I was like, man, if I'm not, if I'm not making them believe this, it's time for me to, to, to leave and still love what I did. So I, I, I was never bitter, you know, like, um, I left on my own terms and, you know, hang around a lot of the veterans, like the old, old, old timers. Yeah. Like when we see at Comic Cons and hear yep. this talk so negative. And I'm like, I do not want to become like, I don't want to be that. I don't want, I don't want to be like that at all. Be, Come here, kid. Betty, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, kid. Come here, kid. Well, Let me talk to back you. Back in my day, back in my day, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's so funny because we're kind of like that now, apparently. We're, <laughs> we're the grizzled vets, <laughs> you know? Vets. Well, maybe well, I tell cool. you what. I tell you what. This grizzled it's... vet never did and doesn't think is over writing down their matches. That's what they yeah. don't do. <laughs> we mostly, Sorry. we mostly um, uh, commiserate about the fact that, like, when we were all together in Impact Wrestling back in the day, you know, I was in there for a while with these gals, and we're like, no one hangs out anymore. Now it's like, I'm gonna go yeah. to my room and drink a chamomile tea and play like Fortnite on my yeah. you know, PS5. I'm like, what's happening? What? What, yeah. what? what is Fortnite? I heard of. I heard of the show one time. Some, some, I heard of the show one time. Some kids say that they were going to leave and go film some content for their 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 TikTok, and that just like it's like, are you like what? Like what happened to the days of? There's a strip club around here somewhere. Let's find. Right. It. There's you VIP know? access and, somewhere. A nice. Yeah, dive bar. That's how we. That's how we do the camaraderie. Come on. There's a nice guys. dive bar with some darts and a pool table in the background, and maybe a live band. I don't know. Absolutely. That seems like yeah. way more fun. <laughs> another yeah. thing. Uh, another thing. And Lisa, it's so good that you were able to to leave on your own terms. So few get to do that. Um, but I, for me. Wrestling became my identity. It became like I got known as Maven, Maven the wrestler, and like that just that's not a good thing. When you're known for, or when you place all your your importance in life and what you do, and not who you are, then, then there's a problem. And I let that become. And I know for the long, like when I got released, man, I didn't want to leave my house because I was I, I was no longer Maven the wrestler. Oh and yeah, come, yeah, and coming to grips with that. It t- I'm not gonna lie though, I'm, I'm not perfect. Hell, it took a long time. It took a long time, and you know, now I'm I'm fine with it. Hey, you know, people will stop me and be like, "Oh, you're that guy from that show." Yeah, man, no okay. yeah. You know, and it's not. It, it doesn't bother me anymore. Yeah. It really blows my mind to hear you say that because, from an outsider's perspective, just so you know this, from an outsider's perspective, it didn't seem like that. Even from me, when I watched, I was like, oh, my God, look, R- Maven's doing all these other things. Like you went to go work for like the Home Shopping Network yeah. or QVC for a while and you were doing another show and then you were doing all this. And I was like, oh, my God, look at Maven out there getting it. Like, good oh, for I, you. I, like, I, I, you, I you, know think you, you use wrestling as a stepping stone to other things. That's what I think. Well, I also I do. And I, I knew that I knew I had more to offer. And and honestly. It was literally just trying to you know, to realize I'm not just Maven the wrestler, and I'm telling you, man. Even even when I was doing other stuff, man, that was tough because I I, I liked it. I liked that that you know when I would go places, I liked that. That's what no one ever introduced me as. This is Maven, the host for HSN. I can promise you that. <laughs> you know, he's going to be he's gonna because be that's set. like one of my my bucket lists is to be a QVC or HSN host. I would die. Hey. But- Continue. Best, best, best job I ever had. Yay! Hands down. I got paid six figures to work two days a week, and one of those days was a 15-minute hit. I Dude, was in the place for an hour. Job. Best so, job no, ever. I'm a friend of Al Snow's. Like I'm like, this is a huge... Without you, Jackie Gata, we love her too. The Maven episode, the enti- they were, you were the first ever. It was a huge deal. For me personally, I'm like, I don't know if I would have been in wrestling if it wasn't for moments like that where I was like, wow. It made me believe. It really did. Yeah. That's, that, that's actually what I'm pr- most proud of from Tough Enough. Like, I was by far not the most successful person from Tough Enough. But what I am happy with is I believe since my Tough Enough was the first one, I don't think that if our season was successful, I don't think you have The Miz or what? Ryback or John Morrison. You know, those, you know, the Jackie Gator, the Linda Miles, the people that followed us. So I think we we were somewhat tra- trailblazers. And um, that, I, I can look back with that and think, okay, 
you 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 have a small place in wrestling history, you know. Yeah, that's it's a huge large place. and a, a large place, place in our hearts. Yeah. Uh, uh, literally, keep up the good work. Um, I I I be honest with you, I didn't know about the podcast and to, and the channel until I ran into Lisa. But I'm a fan, and Thank you. um, that means and a anytime lot. I I will be on here anytime you ask. That's all you got to do yeah. today. Well, and hopefully yeah. we'll see you soon, maybe in Philly for WrestleCon for oh, WrestleMania. Yes, please. <gasps> For WrestleMania, Maven, we're gonna call no. you. Yeah, call only got master of Philly. ceremonies. May done. Yeah. Philly's a Philly's a two-hour drive from me. Are we uh, taking uh, one more? Are come on, get it. Go on, get it. it. That's it. You, you want your train you ride? Were, you were really nice. Your train so ride. Well. I stopped worrying about impressing people a long f- time ago. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cheers to that. Cheers. We love, we love you, baby. We're so proud of you. I love you, ladies, and thank you so much for having me on. Keep doing what you're doing. And I, I, uh, I am a fan. I love you. Thank Aww. you. We love you. We love you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Right. Take care. This is the word to go, y'all. Go.